Hello everyone, welcome to another EV Ramblings video. It's been a while since I've made one of these, uh, but I'm in my uh, new to me 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be doing an efficiency test uh, with different wheels. So there's a company called Fast, uh, which makes wheels up in here in Canada. And they have a line called the Fast EV, which are more of an aero wheel that's supposed to give like up to about 5% efficiency difference. So I have those wheels in order. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this car uh, with its 19 inch factory wheels and I'm gonna drive out to Jordan River and back. So the total trip should be around 126 kilometers. It'll be a couple hours. And then once I have the new wheels on with the exact same tires, I'm gonna do the, that same trip and we're gonna compare what the efficiency is. So I'm actually really excited to see if this makes quite a big difference. Um, yeah. So with that, let's just uh, get going and I'll, I'll come in and out, maybe make a couple comments on my trip there and my trip back. So uh, let's go. Okay, so it's a sunny day, so I need the sunglasses. And the first, what, I just wanna go over what I've done. Uh, so there is a trip meter uh, in here. So I have trip two. So I'm gonna hit reset. Uh, so now we're at zero kilowatt. And essentially I'm just gonna go and drive. So let's put this in reverse. Um, and I'll put my Google Maps up as well. It is a, a nice sunny day, but it's still a little bit cold. So I think we're not gonna get any higher than about 18 degrees Celsius, uh, which will be good. Uh, so we're not gonna get peak efficiency, but that should be the, around the same temperature I see in a week or two when the wheels actually get here. One of the things I'm gonna to have to try to uh, reproduce is the, like the speed I'm driving through this entire trip for both sets. And I'll also make sure that I set the tire pressure to the same. I did set that before I left um, when it was cold. And for the most part, this drive should be pretty free flowing with the exception of like me getting out of town here. Uh, once I get out of the, uh, the city of Langford, um, it's pretty much non-stop until I get to Souk. Now Souk's a bit of a wild card. There's been a lot of traffic sometimes recently with traffic jams, but historically you just drive through. Okay, well, as kind of predicted, we're in Souk and we're stuck in the Souk traffic jam, which I guess happens every weekend now, um, but it's moving uh, pretty regularly. But I guess we are basically at the halfway point to Jordan River, so I just wanted to do a check-in. Uh, so at the moment, um, we've been driving for 42 minutes. We've gone 31 kilometers and we're averaging 16.0 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer, uh, which is great. Um, it's showing 85% um, has gone into driving, 6% uh, is accessories. I am listening to the music and to my stereo when I'm off camera and then 9% exterior temperature. And then, so um, overall, I would say uh, like right now, my efficiency is great, uh, especially given the temperature. It's, uh, it's been a pretty steady 15 degrees Celsius it's gone down to 14, but it hasn't really gone above 15 that often. We're kind of stuck there. Uh, so yeah, uh, just another check-in. Um, I'll check in it again when we get into like a more open, uh, curvy area of the road and just to show some, some driving. So yeah, let's keep going. All right, so we're about 13 minutes away, 15 kilometers from Jordan River. Um, been kind of stuck behind a long line of traffic, so. Yeah, um, I was hoping to check in a little earlier, but where we're at, we're at, uh, we've been driving for an hour and one minute, uh, 48 kilometers for 17.0 kilowatt an hour. Um, and yeah, the temperature has been going 13 to 15 degrees. So uh, let's just get into driving. Okay, we're just beginning our descent into Jordan River. So according to here, we'll be there in just one minute um yeah so it's uh well it's 12 degrees right now it's gotten colder and colder and colder um looking at actually let's just look at the tire pressure where we're at now that we've been driving for over an hour so yeah we're basically 40 across the board which is what i expected once i warmed up a little bit 
and then our trip well we'll wait till we're fully there going down this hill is going to give us a bunch of energy regeneration all right okay so we're here so total driving time was an hour and 15 minutes 40 seconds 63.4 kilometers we averaged 15 kilowatt hours for 100 kilometer which frankly is uh i think that's super impressive so i'm not sure those wheels are going to make any difference but anyways i'm going to go stretch my legs and then uh, we'll be back and we'll turn around and go home Okay, so we're back. Uh, I've been driving for about 20 minutes, I think, out of, so I've well outside of Jordan River. Uh, so yeah, um, at the moment, um, so I have two trip meters on here. So I have three actually. I have like trip one and trip two, then I have this trip. Um, this trip, I'm not entirely sure how, like when it resets it, um, but it did reset the driving timer. Uh, so it says we've been driving for about 20 minutes, which is accurate and we're used 23 kilowatt an hour for 100 kilometers, which is accurate. Now if I switch over to trip two, uh, overall we're still, we're sitting at 17 kilowatt hour, a total driving time of hour 28 minutes. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, once, uh, I, I'm not sure if I'll do another check-in or not until our, just our final stop. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just keep going. Okay, I'm still driving home. And I actually just want to take a moment to talk about um, kind of the reason why I'm buying these wheels and, and I suppose why I'm doing this test as well. Uh, every car I've owned before, I've always had a separate set of wheels for my winter tires. And I actually came across this fast uh, EV uh, wheel at the fully charged show that happened in Vancouver. It was the first one that happened there and I attended it. And yeah, this booth, it really caught my eye. And initially I was thinking, okay, well, I'll get these efficient wheels, put them on my winter tires, and that will help counteract some of the efficiency loss I'm gonna, that I'm gonna get no matter what. Like that just happens. Uh, winter tires just aren't nearly as efficient as these um, like low rolling resistance all seasons that I have. But after thinking about it for a bit though, I kind of thought, well, like no matter what, like in the winter time, I'm taking a, a huge hit anyways, just on range from the temperature. Batteries don't work as well. Um, and and obviously the winter tires, but I'm not doing the same kind of driving in the winter that I'm doing in the nicer seasons. So I made the decision that I would actually take the tires, the tires are like brand new uh, on this car, put them on the new wheels and then get the most efficiency I can when I'm most likely to go on those long road trips or just do that, those longer driving sessions. So that's why I'm doing it. And this just seemed like the perfect opportunity. Like I'm about a week up from getting the new wheels uh, just to go and just really test what the efficiency is like right now as it is and if I actually do see a difference because um, if I do like I think that's I think that's awesome and uh, yeah so I just wanted to explain kind of how I ended up here like definitely though if you're thinking about getting like, like super efficient wheels to save money that's not I don't think that's really gonna happen like wheels are expensive and electricity is cheap you'd have to drive a lot for it to make a difference uh, but if it does give you, let's say if a full charge in here gives me 450 kilometers, let's say, um, if it gives me another 15 or 20 kilometers, then that's worth it just to have that extra range. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's just, well, I'll continue to my home and uh, we'll check in then. So we're back at where we started. So now we get to see what kind of efficiency numbers we got here. So um, let's go look at, so this trip, not the entire trip, but uh, we drove for an hour and 14 minutes, hour 15, I think that's basically the same. It took us to get out to Jordan River. Um, 15 kilowatt <laughs> hours per 100 kilometer. So if we go to trip two, this is the overall trip. So yeah, we drove two hours, 23 minutes. Um, the trip was 126 kilometers, 226.8 kilometers and yeah 15.0 kilowatt over hours over 100 kilometer so right now the temperature here is 16 degrees uh, it's it, it was anywhere from 13 to 16 on the way back as well now if we look at the breakdown of the uh, timeline here uh, 80 88 percent of the energy uh, use was driving 
4% was accessories, so that's like stereos, lights, all the just the little stuff that runs on the 12 volt system. And then exterior temperature, that had an 8% impact as well. Uh, now, if we quickly go to the tire pressure, just to see where we're at right now. So exactly the same, 40, 40, 40, 41. That's where I was expecting it. That's where we were in Jordan River. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna just shelve it until I get my other wheels, and then I'll come back and we'll do that trip and see how it compares. Thanks. Hello, welcome back. It's actually been three weeks since I recorded the first part of this video and uh, we're really deep into October now. So um, I figured this is the best day though that I could do this. It's not raining. Uh, it is much cloudier than it was when I did my first part and right now we're sitting about a degree less. Um, I don't think we're gonna get any warmer today though. So definitely there's gonna be more of an efficiency hint due to the temperature. Uh, so I'd be very surprised if we beat the 15 uh, kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. Uh, but anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up to Jordan River again. I'm going to check in in Souk, similar to where I checked in before. I'll check in when I actually reach the, the Jordan River campground. And then we'll turn around, come back, and see where we're at. Um, so, But the first thing I just want to go over, so our tire pressure, we're sitting at like 39 across the board, which is basically what we had before. Um, and I'm going to go into the trip meter here, go into trip 2, and I'm going to reset it. So yeah, I've driven 807 kilometers since that since that video uh so yeah so now we're ready to go so i'll just get into it and uh oh i guess i do want to say these wheels by fast the ev01 plus i am just i think they look stunning on the vehicle it's it's such a different style than what i've ever bought before for vehicles and i just think it looks just so good on the mach e so i definitely would um recommend them so far uh they're they're awesome so let's go this is when I did my first check-in in Souk, and there's a lot less traffic um, today, and the weather is definitely colder. So we've been sitting at a steady 11, 12 degrees. We're at 12 degrees right now. Last time right at this spot, it was 15. Uh, so huge difference. We have a problem though, which I've... So on trip two, I hit reset. But when I first did the first part of this video, like I did multiple takes and I hit reset a bunch of times, and then shortly after I left, I, I would look, came to look here, I noticed it showed climate use. I don't have any climate on it whatsoever. It definitely reset the trip meter. Oh, and so by the way, we're at 38 minutes. Uh, we were 42 minutes here before, so we're about four minutes faster. Um, so anyways, it's been reading like a steady 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer when it hasn't changed at all, which I thought has been a little bit weird. But if I go to this trip, so this is a trip that resets every time you turn the car off and on. So here, um, it shows 0% climate use, 87% driving, 4% um, accessories, 9% uh, exterior temperature. So with that, um, and I think this one's more accurate uh, because I don't think it reset all of the data uh, with trip two by me just hitting reset once, but we're showing 15 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer right now going faster and we were at 16 before here uh, with the old wheels so colder temperature uh, like i don't could it be that these wheels actually are that much more efficient than the stock ones like i don't know like it's it, it, it's pretty shocking for me right now like i'm actually having a hard time like thinking it through so like yeah we're 87 percent driving before we're 85 we use 6% accessories before number four, um, and we're same nine degree exterior temperature, same as last time. So yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, so anyways, it's looking really promising. So we'll just continue on to Jordan River and I'll check in there. We've arrived at Jordan River. We're back in the campground. So there's a few things I wanna just go over. First, this trip to definitely hasn't reset the efficiency when I only hit it once. It's just stayed at 18 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer the entire trip. And before when I did it, it was kind of jumping it down as it adjusted. So we're gonna have to rely on this trip. 
But first I want to talk about um, time. So it took us an hour and 15 minutes to get here before, and now it actually took an hour and eight. So we're definitely, we got here seven minutes sooner. Um, so yeah, like there is definitely some efficiencies. We were about four minutes quicker to souk, about three minutes quicker here. Um, but the temperature though, uh, when we were here last time, it was 12 degrees and it's 12 degrees again. So West Coast Road is very, uh, very treed. Um, so lots of shadows and temperature doesn't fluctuate that much. So we actually are very similar on temperature. So now let's find out though, the real thing, I'm gonna go to this trip. I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> okay, so we're at 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, exactly what we were before. Um, but let's look at what's been going on. So driving, um, it took 87% of the energy was used before, it's 89 now. 3% uh, accessories is four before. Exterior was eight, it was nine before. So we got here faster and it showed we used more energy because of that. I definitely was driving faster, that's less efficient. So at this point in this check-in, for us to be at the same with being significantly faster, uh, that's actually really good. That's excellent. So I'd be really curious to see what, we're, what we'll get when we go back. Now here's the real problem I have right now is I can't turn the car off because I'm relying on this trip. I really have to use the bathroom. So I'm just gonna leave the car on, quickly bust out there, um, use the bathroom, get back in and drive. I just have to rely on the kindness of Vancouver Island people to not steal my car. It'll be fine. Okay, we've done it. We just finished our round trip. Whew. Okay, so first off, it's 14 degrees right now. Uh, when we arrived last time, it was 16 degrees. Now the sun did come out. Um, I will comment that there's more wind today than there was. It was totally f like there was no wind whatsoever when I drove last time. Um, but okay, so it took us previously on the previous round trip, two hours, 23 minutes to do this entire trip. So this time, two hours, 23 minutes. So right now we're at the exact same round trip. Now, of course though, I did leave the car on while I had to uh, take care of business. So <clears throat> I think that was probably around three minutes. So overall, this trip was still faster. Um, now looking at the energy breakdown. So previously we used 88% for driving. It says we used 89 this time. 3%, um, 4% accessories used three this time. And then previously it said eight, both are eight uh, percent for exterior temperature. <clears throat> so, so we're at 15, 0.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Now, this car doesn't, even though there's a decimal uh, position there, there's no, it doesn't go 14.5 or 15.5. So I don't really know. But this, I didn't think the car would be able to get more. I really didn't. Uh, 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is fantastic. But it was colder today. I know it doesn't show it there, but it was colder today. Uh, we were faster in our driving, uh, so we were a little less efficient driving, and we got the same rating. I am pretty confident that if this was my original wheels, we would have been at least 16 kilowatt um, hours per 100 kilometer. So even though like we're still, we ended up at the same point, I think that's an excellent result. And I do believe these wheels, they advertise about 5%. Um, if we got 14 kilowatt, that would have been closer to 8%. Um, so. Yeah, I think this actually does give you around 5% uh, performance uh, or range increase on it. So that's the video. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please subscribe if you're not and just look for more content from me in the future. Bye.